and welcome to Monday Worship. Welcome to the long-awaited third video in uh, my pedal board series where I'm um, talking through the pedals I use, how I use them, and the uh, trans transformation to uh, my new pedal board, which has been a few weeks in, in the making. Um, so without any real further ado, um, I want to show you uh, what happened uh, in, a, in a short two-minute video going through kind of the, the process and the the final board. And then after that, I'll come back and just do a quick recap of the sound that I'm getting in and how I'm using it. So this is the pedal board as it was. No space for any more pedals. Uh, a bit of a mess. Some of the pedals actually outside of the pedal board. So the first step in the process, take everything off basically. Uh, take all the cables out, take the power supply out. I'll be using that on the new pedal board. Um, some of the cables, I'll be using those as well. Um, but actually buying new patch cables as well uh, off Amazon. But this pedal board, yeah, won't be using, won't be using that. Um, took a picture of the pedals, um, cut them out so I could actually get an idea of the layout on the new pedal board and how the pedals would be uh, best arranged and then just uh, started to lay them out, get an idea of uh, what they'd look like and just make sure I've got enough space in between the pedals really um, for all the uh, patch cables and the power. Got the um, pedal board off Hot Rocks UK website. It's the Pedal Train Classic 235 pounds with the hard case, really impressed with the hard case. Um, really, really sturdy. Didn't take any video or, um, or photos of the pedal board, not very exciting. And I haven't taken any pictures or video of the actual um, building process, just straight to the finished thing. And here it is, um, really impressed with it. Really easy to put together. Like I say, I didn't um, take any video or, or photos of actually putting the Velcro on, but really straightforward. Nice to just have everything all in one place. Makes, um, recording really really easy and i'm looking forward to, to using it um, in a live setting as well very soon so yeah that's the that's the pedal board um which i have now um i haven't really made any alterations or amendments to it uh, at the moment so this is my acoustic sound that I'm getting at the moment with uh, pretty much nothing on it. The, um, the main pedal that's affecting the acoustic is the Nuex Stageman Floor something acoustic preamp. And that gives me a nice little bit of reverb. Bit of EQ. as well. Um, before that I actually have the TC electronic hypergravity compressor um, which just means that I can I can finger pick and I can strum and I'm getting the same volume and getting no nasty spikes it kind of evens it all out and i've also got which i don't think i went through on a previous video the distort a little bit of distortion or overdrive <laughs> Massively controversial on acoustic, but um, it's just to give a bit of variation in tone should I want it. Um, only really use that now very, very sporadically. So that's the that's the acoustic sound that I'm getting. The main acoustic sound is the compressor and the uh, preamp pedal. In addition to that, I have another chain which has uh, another compressor the Boss SY-1, um, the TC Electronic flashback to delay and then into the Boss RV-6 in uh, reverb pedal in, in shimmer mode. So if I show you that, you 
In fact, what I'll do is I'll show you... I'm going to show you that in isolation. So what you get in there is actually I've taken, I've only put in the the compressor, which is a Behringer um, basic compressor. And what I've done, because I am a massive pedal snob and have issues, is I've renamed it. I've, I've renamed the pedal the Juicer. I've, I've de-Behringer it, um, de-Behringer it. I've, yeah, I've taken the, I've taken that off and rebranded it. Which uh, yeah. So it's it's pretty much just the. You're pretty much just getting the RV6 there, um, which which if you add in the, I'm getting quite a bit of noise on my volume pedals. So we'd have to take the main acoustic out, so that needs looking at and probably changing. But when I put in the uh, the main acoustic signal into the. Six together, you're getting a nice, um, a nice eerie sound. And if you want to throw in a little bit of delay, there you go. You're getting a little bit of delay in there as well, just to um, add a little bit more texture. Probably hear that more if I just uh, play it without the main acoustics uh, signal. Because what I wanted in this in this second um, signal uh, path was a kind of a pad sound, and this is where the um, the SY1 comes in, which is on I think on a pad setting. To the, to the, that kind of completes that second pass lineup. Then you have that kind of pad sound, so then I can bring in the guitar. Sometimes you have to be careful what you're playing, otherwise it's going to hold something a bit weird. Um, and then underneath all of that is the uh, pad on the, on the iPhone, so that gives you your constant. Basically, what I was trying to do with this pedal board. There are a couple of other bits. If you've seen other videos, I've got a Digitech S drum, um, Digitech Trio Plus, um, the OPFX uh, V Uno pedal, uh, for various things, adding drums um, and bass for different in different scenarios. Um, but this is kind of my acoustic pedal board as it is at the moment. 
the only additions I'm thinking of making are I've got issues with the volume pedal. Uh, I think I'm switching that out and do something different with that. And I'm not entirely happy with the overdrive sound that I'm getting from the pedal I've got, which was an Amazon special. I'm thinking of changing that out for the Mojo Mojo Tone. Um, uh, I think that's another TC electronic pedal. Um, yeah, the, the Mojo Mojo um, overdrive, I think it is called pedal so yeah that might happen at some point in the future but that is it that is um thank you if you watched all three videos um as you know i post worship new worship songs um or new worship covers every monday um so if you enjoy um this setup and you enjoy uh, fresh worship every monday please like and subscribe and uh, hopefully i'll see you at some point in the future thank you